I bet you didn't know that Japanese Wendy's is actually a pretty decent place to relax. This Wendy's is a combination with another restaurant called First Kitchen, and it looks like they have pasta with okra and shrimp. But I'm here for something much less healthy. So I placed my order on the tablet, and the staff started to prepare my order. Why do all fast food kitchens have the same tile floor? Just as I sat down to devour my egg and bacon hamburger, I spotted some police doing an interpretive dance outside the window, and they worked up a pretty impressive crowd of onlookers. Eating at Wendy's in Japan was an experience, because there wasn't really any form of familiarity that I could latch onto. Wendy's has become a kind of place where you just go and grab a coffee and read a book or study for five hours. It's a calm environment and people leave their bags everywhere without a worry of theft. It was good, but it was just different, and probably the only real culture shock I've ever had in Japan. I couldn't really focus because the obnoxious idea of a YouTuber clout was swirling around my head, and the thought that I would get 100 million views if I just broke everyone's concentration in there by saying, Mmm, -hmm. this is a tasty- Good thing I'm a gentleman and I just decided to eat my spicy fish egg fries in silence. These were super delicious, but at times I felt they were too spicy, and after I ate them I felt like Spongebob after being at Sandy's house